Even having repelled the Baron's attack, we're still stuck in this desert until we get enough fuel. So while the others are preparing the Aurora for departure, me, Gyul, and Demir must sneak into the oil terminal and steal a railway tank full of fuel. We must open the gate from the inside so that our guys could hook the tank to the rail car. Are you down? Too much moonshine? You won, man! Listen up, everyone! The best... Piss off! Sure! I don't... I don't want everyone! Let the boys have some sleep! Don't shoot! I give up! Chill, man. We're cool. We're cool. Shit fall on us? Nah, it won't. As long as no dumb son of a bitch decides to touch anything. 
Pass me that 16 mil span. <laughs> Guys, what? <laughs> Thank you. 
This bitch thinks we're some kind of dumbasses who can't find his ass if he hides. We gotta find him and teach him about respect. There's the bitch! The fuckers got him! There you ass, you motherfucker! In the back! Get ready for that fucking death, you fucker! Guys, we're fucked fuck like, like royalty! Get your ass, you motherfucker! Hey guys, there really is something in the past, or is it just me? Something down there, so is it just me? What's this shit? Hey guys, let's get the fuck up before you run! I'm gonna pack you. Where the fuck are you? I know Where? you're here, pal! And that means you're shit out of luck, eh? What the fuck is this? Do something, Ponyo! That bitch is there! Over here! He's here! The fucking bitch was down there! You dumb bitch! Come out, you fuck! I know- <laughs>
I got the best spin! I just got motherfucking owned!
In any case, the plan is this. You and I will try to take their guards down quietly and get in through the gate. If quiet does not work out, we will at least distract them, while you get in through the underground. Let's go. We'll walk with you. Don't lag behind. I have a favor to ask. If possible, don't kill the slaves. They're not. They just obey the Manai by Lair. Obey the Baron. They're afraid, that's all. Who was right about the locals? Here. This place. They're just kids, and all have been under brainwashing for ages. So we probably should take pity on them. So, a great? Well, let's do this. All right, I'll raise it and you get through. Come on, this shit is heavy! Nobody go, nobody fool. We stand here all day. You suck. Better go hunt, find some food, make slaves, no use that way. Work all day, another slave. Right, completely. Very right. Faster, fuck! You work or you go up the dog!
master, burn them to life! Ah, don't kill me! Don't kill me, please! Are you okay? Oh, great. I was worried for nothing. I, I have good news. Look, the tank is full. Just what we need. Uh, there is also bad news. The gate is locked and we can't take it out. Colonel, sir, Damir here. We have secured the tank, but encountered a, a problem with the gate. Copy that. We're going with plan B, then. Act accordingly. See, the cable connects the gate and the top of the tower. How do we get there, though? 
Water. Go and give her a lesson. Forgive me, Uli Mirsa. I... You're a talk. Come on, I'm glad to you. It's one of those right. new arrivals. Come to lick the boss here. Hey, pretty boy. Did you come from afar? Oh, fine. You won't find a girl like me in any city. You're the one to see the boss? Just doing my best to introduce a little order into it. Without which there is no hope for something better in the future. And with no hope, you can't live. But let us cut to the chase. You definitely did not come here to enjoy the scenery. Ergo, you have a goal. And that goal is probably far from here. I respect people with their purpose in life. So, I am ready to provide you with fuel for your journey. I'm not asking for much in return. Surrender Gyul to me. Bring her to me, and we all win. I have Gyul, you will have your fuel. Everyone gets to live long and prosper. Now what? herself has come for you! You'll answer for everything! He locked it! From the other side! That coward! Do you think I am a fool? You didn't want to see it! Now you will all die! Starting with you, Gyo! Kill them! Artyom, get ready! We must kill these dogs! These dogs are not the word! No, people, he's here! There he is! You, you are weak, and you value the weak. But the world 
lives by different rules. The strong ones always win. Our strength lies in our unity. Our faith that keeps our flock together. It is through this faith that we protect them, direct them, keep them from disappearing in this desert. But you, you, you are leaving to destroy. They see you as something of an icon. They see you as a champion of all. The attraction of your business. Reloading! It is an aura of problems nobody knows. Luckily, your death will be spelling. Why doesn't he speak anymore? Artyom, I'll go in before that dog runs away. I'll catch him and open the door for you. Hold on. Hold on. The door's giving! Let's give it a shove, Artyom! So, you wanted to create a new world? With this? Not happening! Your misguided attempt! <laughs> Open. Hooking the tank up. 
You gave my people hope. I'll never forget it. But this war has only started for me, and I must see it to the end. The winning end. Artyom, your dream led us here, but it won't help my people. This war is mine now, too. Go, Artyom. Follow your dream. You're back, my love. I was so worried. Fanatics on the banks of Volga, cannibals in the mountain bunker, slavers on the shores of the dried out sea. How many monsters has the war given rise to? Or perhaps, were they always there? And the war simply gave them a chance to show themselves and now we're stuck with them forever. Will Damir, who stayed in the desert to help Kyul lead their people to freedom, beat another monster? The inertia of thought that had been keeping the subjugated locals in willing and ready servitude to tyrants? Frankly, I have doubts. That monster might prove stronger than all the others. Regardless, we can't afford to lose hope. We're getting ever closer to our dream. Finding a place where we could live, free from radiation and mutants. The maps we recovered in the desert have provided us with several promising options. And now the crew members are excitedly waiting for the Colonel's decision on where the Aurora should go next. Currently, though, the train is calmly rolling eastward. The crew rests, and Stepan proposed to Katya. It was a proposal she couldn't refuse. Sands long ago, and it still persists. <clears throat> what does Christ even smoke? <laughs> it's terrible. In any case, I'm better now. I hate to interrupt, guys, but uh, you should come to the mess hall. The table is almost served. Thanks, Stepan. We'll be there in a moment. Shall we go, Artyom? Or shall we stay a little longer? It's so nice. You know, Artyom, I've been looking at Stepan and Katya, you and me, and thinking how lucky we are. It was so different with my parents. It was bad. Did I ever tell you why my mom died? Of course I didn't. It was because of Dad. He used to be even harsher back then. He used to come home from the barracks and reach for the bottle while taking off his boots. They'd quarrel, and then he'd stop appearing for a time. And while he was away, she'd start drinking too, and crying when she was sober. She'd feel better, would get kind of dreamy when drunk. You know how she used to call me, just A. She'd hug me and say, one day, A, you and I are going to go to Vladivostok, the city I was born in, and from there to a village on the ocean shore. I was five back then and didn't really get much, but I could imagine that village and the ocean so vividly because I believed her. And then she killed herself, drank some kind of poison. Father quit drinking after Mom's death. Didn't ever pay much attention to me, but with her gone, he'd never leave me alone. Took me along everywhere. 
We only talked about her a couple of times, though. I used to have this doll, Jana. I played make-believe that she was my daughter, and we went to the ocean together. Then my father hid it, told me it got lost. He probably didn't want me to agonize over mom's dream. Then I imagine she grew up and went to Vladivostok. And now I'm going, not to Vladivostok, but with you. The dream came true. By the way, I was always intrigued by what Dad dreams about. He should have some dreams, but what are they? Higher rank? He could choose any. Saving people? What would the saved do next? Sit underground? I never understood him. What does he hope for in life? What makes him happy? Nothing, perhaps. He never really had any time to think about tomorrow. Down in the metro, those thoughts don't come casually. Here on the surface, though. I, for one, have something I want to do. I want to run through the sand barefoot. Build a sand castle for the kids. I'm imagining two. A boy and a girl. The boy would be a copy of you. We'd go swimming with mountains behind us. Wooden houses on the shore. The sun would wake us up every day, rising from the ocean. That harbor is our destination. Worth going there, even if we have half the world to cross. Everyone should have a destination. A point on the map where they aspire to go, and where one could finally be happy. All our guys have their own. Duke used to have one. Damir, another. We broke out of the metro and are now starting to scatter. Not at once, of course. At first, we're all still running together, searching. But eventually, each of us will find a point like this and stay there. I don't know where my dad's destination is. Don't know where yours is either. But I know I love you a whole lot. Go, Artyom. I'll rest some more and join you later. What do you know? Everything is perfect, Artyom. Follow us. Well, if that dance Well, this is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> He's ingenious! This is great! Ah, great job! Come on, guys! Here it's your mom! Location, guys! <laughs> What's the word? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. You guys are just amazing! <laughs> that was a great plot! Thank you, boys! Well, that was a non-forgettable <laughs> show! Wow. Yeah, lots of hidden talent. Gracias. Yeah. I've kept silent for too long, but now I simply must talk. I have to warn you about Stepan. He is incredibly, disgustingly nice and kind-hearted. Yes, no, indeed. I, as a misanthrope of not, am appalled. <laughs> I noticed that already. He is incredibly kind. That's just slander. They are jealous. Oh, Artyom, finally! Take a seat, please. We haven't even started, Nothing really. Nothing here is blessed with such an amazing wife. Take a seat, Artyom. Oh, Sit somewhere right. nearby. Artyom. I, for one, have positively gone green with jealousy already. Green to the core. What did I miss? <laughs> you should Thank have seen you. them dance. Don't no, you worry. Katya, you'll you. get another chance. A moment of your attention, please. Half a year on the road, and 4,000 clicks behind us. We have been through a lot. Duke, Damir. All right, people. I do understand I can't keep it a secret much longer. After a careful study of the satellite maps we've obtained, <laughs> and much deliberation, we've found a place we could call our new home. It is a river valley. There's forest, and a hydroelectric power plant. Yeah. This place is quite far from densely populated areas, which, as our journey has proven, is important. 
We're about two days away from it now. So, congratulations, everyone! Yeah! 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 yeah. 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 Yet, uh, this is not our last order of business for today. Stepan, Katya. Oh, rings! Stepan, Katya, repeat after me. I take you to be my spouse. I take you to be my spouse. And vow to hold you from this day forward. And vow to for hold better, you from this day forward. For, worse, for better or for worse. For richer, <laughs> for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and, and in health. health. To love and to cherish to and until to death to us part. To us part. As the captain of this ship, I hereby pronounce you husband and wife. Live long and be happy. Oh, and go, Gorka! 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 Oh. me away. That ghoul doctor said my lungs were falling apart. The gas I breathed in that ammo dump said I How can you long. believe that monster? We've just been through a desert and all that sand. So that might be the reason. Katya, Arthur, a few words. Go. I'm fine now. So, son, care to tell me what do we now, do please. now? Let us not panic and think constructively. So, Katya, what do you think? I think that trusting some degenerate's diagnosis wouldn't be wise. A move from humid metro into the desert with its dry heat and sandstorms is a stress for us. Yes, I do think she'd be hit really bad right off the start had it my been My thoughts gas. exactly. Thus, first I'll check her condition to the best of my knowledge. Also, we're approaching the valley with its forest air. That alone could heal her. I'm sorry to intervene, but did something happen? Oh, Anna coughed up some blood. My god. Do you really think it's the sand? Sounds more like TB to me, that's for sure. TB we can handle. We've got enough antibiotics, and air does help with that. What if... What if that degenerate was right, Katya? What do we do? Is there a medicine? There was an air defense battery station in our village. Right on the brink of war, they received a new drug. It saved a lot of people after gas exposure and general poisoning. I'll check my mom's records and find its name. I think it was produced in Novosibirsk. Right, Novosibirsk. Yermak, your opinion? For Anna's sake, I'd go to the edges of the earth. As for Novosibirsk, it's about 2,000 clicks. Then it's decided. We head for the valley. If it is suitable, we settle there. If our estate worsens, I'll take a group of volunteers to find that drug. So, Katya, please, find that name for I'll us. I'll find it. Don't worry. One more thing, Artyom. I want no surprises in that valley. You are our most seasoned scout. So 
Take the rail car. One volunteer. Go check everything out before we arrive. Let's go back for now. Tell Anna and the people to calm down.
this land back. And one more thing. We don't want surprises like the ones we had on the Volga or in Yamantau. So we're sending a scouting party ahead on a rail car. Artyom needs a volunteer to support him. Me! Pick me! I'll check the hell out of that valley, please! <laughs> Something makes me think that Alyosha is mainly going to check if there are any Amazons or women in general there. <laughs> <laughs> so we're all set. Frankly, I envy you, Stepan. You got a full family, a wife and child at once. And you don't have to worry about diapers or belly aches. Envy is a bad thing. <laughs> we're not the ones to avoid diapers, Colonel. In fact, we're planning to present Nastya with a little brother, if she doesn't object. I'd rather get a sister. We could play with dolls together. I could care for her. You could play Sparta in special operations with the brother. Ah, cut it out, Stepan. God knows we've had enough of operations. I don't know about you, but I'm tired. I'd like to retire. Time to have some life. You can't retire yet. You're too young. <laughs> I am old, Nastya. You're not. <sighs> You said envy was a bad thing, Nadia. Hmm? But what am I to do? Your mom has you, but my Anna doesn't have a smart girl like you. Dad! Don't dad me! A 20-year-old won't even think about children. But I would sure like to see grandchildren at my age. Yeah, you teach them CQC. Dual-wielding pistols. <laughs> I could come visit you. Of course, you're welcome, Nastya. The thing is, Grandpa Miller won't give up until he has grandchildren of his own. Hear that, Artyom? I don't even know what else to say. She's beautiful, sporty. Yeah, I'm Olympic level with a rifle. I get not having kids in metal. Darkness, TV, rats, mutations. But what about me? <laughs> All right, Dad. We'll get to work on solving your problem tonight. At that note, how about a drink? To repopulation of Earth. To kids. Yes, to children. To children. To children. One more host! To the new colony! May it grow and prosper! Oh, this is rough. Hooray! To, to the, the new colony! Smooth as silk. <laughs> Whoa! This is great! Yeah. More women joining! <laughs> Alyosha, I never doubted you. Yes, Alyosha. I don't think you should be worried about that. If we are successful, there will be people joining us. Honest, good people. I'm sure they survive too. Well, if any bad people decide to show up, they'll be sorry they did. <laughs> oh, definitely. When we're done with the bad apples here, we might think of something to do about Moscow. That's true. To love! To love! This is good. Stepan, play some more! Stepan, could you give us that one? This heat is just so My horse, I must say. My pleasure. Ah, hello, Artyom. A 
As you can see, I'm giving the weapons some care after the desert. Yeah, I hate sand, I must say. It's rough and coarse and gets everywhere. Irritates me to no end. So, as soon as we got out of that hellhole, I started cleaning and overhaul. Yes, it is a mystery, really, how those bandits managed to keep their guns working in that desert. Though their gunsmiths are good. That gun you brought back is definitely custom made. A fine job. And it's been well maintained, too. This just warms my heart. Well, I wouldn't have a poor showing here either, given a chance. The Tihar with the new ammo would have worked wonders there. I'm sure you'll give it a try later, though. Yes, in any case, you don't need to worry about the weapons, Artyom. I'll have them in mint condition by the time we make our next stop. <laughs> Этот поезд в огне, и нам не на что больше жать. Этот поезд в огне, и нам некуда больше бежать. Эта земля была нашей, пока мы не увязли в борьбе. Она умрет, если будет ничей, пора вернуть эту землю себе. Этот поезд в огне, и нам не на что больше жать. Этот поезд в огне, и нам некуда больше бежать. Эта земля была нашей, пока мы не увязли в борьбе. Она умрет, если будет ничьей, пора вернуть эту землю себе. I can't say I've ever been religious, but right now I'm begging all gods, please, watch over Anna and make the valley cure her of her affliction. In the meantime, Alyosha and I are on a recon mission. We have no idea of what is waiting for us there, though Alyosha seems convinced that there are going to be crowds of women eagerly anticipating his arrival. If that turns out to be the case, then I have the best companion possible for this mission. Yes, I must say, I'm rather partial to this valley. Take care for one. Makes your head swim. Never smelled air like this in my life. I bet if we spend a week there, it won't just cure Anna. It'll make Colonel grow his feet back. Dave, this is one bustle ride. The rails are all bent. The whole track seems to be fixing to slide down. I sure hope it can hold our weight. Let's hear the Aurora and tell them to take the other road. Come in, Aurora. This is forward recon. Do you read? Over. Beauty, huh? Don't you want them to see it sooner? 
broke at that church for a while. Scott, your friend, but I can see you're torn not bandits. I'll help you out if you don't do anything stupid. Gotta run now. Just stay out of sight and you'll be fine. Catch you later. <laughs> 